feel that maybe you're stuck in the wrong job? That your uh, career's going nowhere faster and that's, uh, what's more, you uh, can't stand that bloke in accounts. Never seen him, and never pays me. Well, uh, help is at hand via palmist Robin Lowne. And uh, what's more, he reckons that uh, he can tell whether you're ever going to have that yacht in the Caribbean. <laughs> or if old Aunt Agatha really will leave you the lot in her will. So we're all poised, we've had our little palm print done. Is it, is it actually uh, possible to tell, you know, at all specifically what sort of career you should do from looking at the lines on your hand? Or is it just general areas, really? I think you, you can actually say quite specifically when you get to know some people, but there are a lot of people who are in the wrong job. <laughs> in a sense, <laughs> I'm not talking about yourselves, <laughs> uh, we'll come to your hands later. Yeah. Um, but uh, some people actually are trained up for the job. It's, it's a matter of they are trained, and other people can actually then be a natural at their job. Mm. And those pockets are there clearly to be seen, because there are certain types and certain walks of life, but we live in such a diverse society anyway. So it is a little bit more difficult to actually spot them. Can mm. you tell generally whether someone you know, is more attracted to kind of the physical rather than the intellectual, say? Then? Oh, yes. Well, in fact, as we keep saying, back to basics, the square hand is the active, it is the physical, it is the people that are the go-getters. The longer hands are more applied. They sit back, lay back a little bit, and let the life teach them a little bit, and then they apply their mind. So uh, there are two distinct types, yes. Mm. Now, now, you're actually looking at, uh, you're determining whether somebody can be successful, which is an amazing thing to do. How do you set about that? Well, I think if, if I draw just a triangle here, there are three things that matter in life to most people. Uh, really, it's money mm -hmm. is a great motivator. Uh, relationships is another bit, and time. And these are the things we're all fighting, or fighting to get more of. And uh, if you look at those three things, actually makes life very simple, doesn't it? Mm. It's time, money, or relationships. Mm. And really, you can't get out of that. But How much you sell of <laughs> relationships and time. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but central to that, which we often don't think about, is health. Mm. So if it's health that's most important, then that's where we need to look at. Mm. So health of the hand. And so on real hands, we look at the health of the career. And the career line actually goes up the hand something like this. It's called a fate line. And uh, if we look at the line that runs up the hand here, usually runs towards the middle finger there if they're very much in the realms of, I'm going to say, secure jobs. Uh, people whose lines deviate and go towards this creative finger here often show more creativity. <laughs> and, uh, but they're broke. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't necessarily mean they're broke. But the, the lines, if they're very strong, always indicate security. Mm. And so if you've got very strong lines, it's both health and security. And my guess is if you're pretty healthy and secure, you're going to make some money. Right. Oh. So, <laughs> so, so there's nothing there that would specifically say, oh, you're going to be, you know, the next Richard Branson, you're going to be really rich. Well, again, lines do come and go in the hand. The hand is organic in the sense that it grows with you. But things can happen to you, and the lines can sometimes come out here showing investment of monies right under this line here. If you like, these are buzz lines. If we you would say that call them buzz lines, if I saw these lines, they'd give me a buzz because these are creative and secure. And obviously, you know, people who are creative and secure make money. <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't necessarily say creative in what way, though? No, not necessarily. But you have to then go back to the basic hand if they're going to be down-to-earth people in ordinary jobs, digging the roads, gardeners and all the rest of it. Longer hands applied mind, sometimes if you like the computer brain. Mm. They often have much longer hands to apply themselves. Mm. Can you tell if someone's going to have a, um, quite a dramatic career change at any point? Yes, but I think it might be a good idea to look at yours, because actually yours shows some dramatic changes. Oh, I'm back on the pick and mix. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how, <laughs> that's how I look at Jane's. Here. Right. I've actually drawn, if the camera can um, come into this, here, I've drawn in this line here, which is your career line. I've done it in pink. You can actually just see this line. It depends where it starts. If it starts here, away from the lifeline, it is a person who's able to take risks. And here, the line actually changes at your age group now, Jane, and it shows a great restriction over the last two years. There's a box here, and those boxes round lines, we get lines coming into boxes, shows great restrictions. And that has been recent in the last two years. And you're now coming out of that. So here is a new start for you very shortly. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where it's going, but the line actually indicates more success in this line going towards the creative finger. So great success, great things to come, but big changes just around the corner. And that's quite a solid line. Does that mean that Very. She, she's going to be successful? She'll stay friends. <laughs> I should think you'll stay friends. Let's yeah. look at yours, Mark. Okay. <laughs> As I said earlier, actually, it's quite bizarre when I looked at your hand and my hand, how, how similar they yes. are. 
Yeah. I mean, uh, in having a lot of lines, Robin, for a kickoff. Yes, off, yes, you, know. you have a lot of lines, but a lot of that is white noise in the sense it's, it gives you lots of choices. And people with a lot of lines often say, well, why me? Why have I got to make this choice? Mm. Well, Mark has got less, so in fact, sometimes it's a little easier to make choice. Mm. But if you look at the similarities between the two, the lines go much the same way, but the start is different. So Mark is very much needed security, he likes his security, and it's going this way towards the middle finger. Security is very important to him. But when you move here, and it's about your age group now, Mark, it is actually showing a deviation and a new line, showing that something from outside, an extra job, something slightly different, moving away from what you've known, which you keep up, but moving away and doing something slightly different. Mm. So, and this line is exactly the same as Jane's, and you can see these two very much the same, but you're in the same job. Mm. But um, coming back to the money thing again, yeah. <laughs> you're not going to let this go, are you? make lots of money then. Yeah. Well, can you tell they, are, they are both secure lines. There is continuity, they are secure, and they're deep and healthy. So your health is good, yours hasn't been so good in the past, but it is better now, and therefore you're moving out of this box. Mark, generally good health, and these lines do show ultimate success. Oh, fabulous. That's what I think I wanted to hear. <laughs> Is there any way of telling, um, by looking at someone's hand, whether they're, you know, you meet people who say, oh, I really still don't know what I'm going to do with my life, and uh, they're kind of unfocused about yes. what they want to do. Yes. How would that demonstrate itself? Well, uh, we'd have to take this off very quickly. It would demonstrate on showing on their lines, excuse me, is that these lines in the middle would not be so clear. What would happen is we'd have lines and you'd have gaps. Really? And sometimes they disappear altogether. And when there's gaps or disappearing or squares, which you've got, Jane, it shows restrictions. But I'm breaking out of that box now. You are now. breaking out of restrictions. Hollywood, here we come. <laughs> yes. Here comes Auntie Mabel with her inheritance. Oh, yes. yes. You can do that. Sorry, briefly, Robin. You can do, uh, you can tell an inheritance? Well, inheritance lines sometimes come up as extra lines. I'll draw it in red very quickly here. They sometimes come up here, up, up underneath sun lines here, the sun finger, bringing opportunity and sunshine into your life. You can see everybody there trying to yeah. scratch one end. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Auntie Mabel, eh? yeah. Anyway, Robin, thanks very much indeed. Thank we'll you. see Thank you next you week. <laughs> uh, right now, it's time to stop yourself silly, basically, with... Uh,